Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Michael Faraday observed that a current is produced in a circuit whenever there is a change in magnetic field associated with it. He arrived at this conclusion after performing a few experiments. Let us now look into some of the experiments performed by him. A circular insulated wire having one or more turns was connected to a galvanometer as shown here. Then a power magnet was introduced into the coil. Observe each step shown here and deduce Faraday's conclusions. Deflection in the galvanometer indicates that the current is induced in the coil due to the relative motion between the magnet and the coil. The deflection in the galvanometer lasts as long as there is relative motion between the magnet and the coil. The deflection is more in case the magnet is moved faster and less when the magnet is moved slowly. The deflection in the galvanometer is reversed when the same pole of the magnet is moved in the opposite direction or when the opposite pole is moved in the same direction. Two coils P and Q, a battery, a key and a sensitive galvanometer G were arranged as shown here. Now follow the instructions appearing on the screen and deduce Faraday's conclusions. When the circuit is switched on, the magnetic flux increases and hence induced current is set up in the coil. When the circuit is open, the magnetic flux decreases and induced current is set up in the coil Q but in the opposite direction. Based on these experimental conclusions, Faraday put forth two laws of electromagnetic induction. First law. A 
According to the first law, whenever the magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes, it generates an induced EMF in the circuit. The induced EMF will last as long as the magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes. Second law. According to the second law, the magnitude of the induced EMF in a circuit is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the circuit.